hi guys welcome back to another exciting video um in this video i'm just going to do a quick tutorial showing you how to create a youtube channel banner using your smartphone and the application we're going to use is pixel lab you've seen ton of tutorials using that using this software on my channel so if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel so you will see more of it okay without wasting much time i'll just go straight to designing it first off a youtube channel banner is the visual it's like a visual representation of what your channel is about if your banner is not professional enough it tends to chase away prospecting subscribers so you need to make sure your channel banner is well designed and it sits well on the youtube banner um, youtube banner page and to do that you need to know the right dimension to use for your banner and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video so first off i'll import a helper image this is more of a cheat sheet to guide you on how to design your youtube banners so according to this this is the recommended file size 2560 by 1440 pixels. So I've immediately set my image size to that. 2560 by 1440. So this is the same 16 by 9 aspect ratio for YouTube thumbnail but the, the width and the height differs from that of a youtube video a youtube thumbnail sorry okay once you've done that you click on ok then i'll extend this so that i can use it as a reference while creating the channel banner okay and um, let me just explain this this is like the entire banner size but only a few section is visible across all devices so the first one this is the for the tv is only visible when you are viewing the youtube channel on a tv while the second one is the desktop this extended rectangle is for the desktop in between that you see the one for tablets just a little bit above before the desktop extension then the blue the light blue section this is called the safe area where you all your text should ideally go in because this section is visible on all on all banner size regardless of this device you are using so you if you're using a smartphone you'll see this here so this is this section we're going to use to design ours okay so i'll bring this text to the front or i'll remove it i'll just remove it because i don't need it for now then i'll lock this and reduce the opacity so I can work on my logo. Okay, next up, I want to set the background. I want to use a color background, but you are free to use an image, whichever works well for your site. Okay, I'm going to use a dark background. And I want to use, no, I'll use this instead. Okay, next up, I will, to help you if you want to remove the helper image, I will, I will use this grid, the grid system that is present on Pixel Lab to select the areas I want to work with. So I know that when I'm extending my. So this rectangle right in between now is my safe area. So I can hide this image now, and I know that I should be in this area. Yeah. okay so to begin i will add something in between i'll add the script right then go on the content area and make it a dark background I will just reduce this, make it a little bit lighter. Yeah. So 
So next up, I'll add some more tools to it to just to literally make this look appealing. The most important thing is to know the dimension. Once you do that, Once you know the dimension, you can pretty much just you let your creativity get the best of you and come up with something nice. Okay, so I'll change the color of this. I need something reddish, so I'll use this instead, and then I will make I want this to. Align to this side. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through most of this because. There's no point watching me use tools that you are already familiar with. So if you're not familiar with the tools of Pix in, in use them Pixel Lab, I'll put a video to my beginner guys on how to use Pixel Lab. Text for this. So 
so I'm just going to keep this simple. This is a fictitious channel ad for a fitness coach, so I will use a fitness coach. Then I'll change the font. I think I'm done with this. As you can see, it didn't take me long to put that up. I'll just add a little bit of aesthetics to make this look more appealing. This is totally optional, but I will do that for additional aesthetics, like I said earlier on. And obviously, this won't be visible across your other devices. I'll just send it to the back and take it up a little. Yeah, something like this. Then I'll change the color and reduce the opacity. So I'm basically done with this, I'm just adding in some effects to it. So as you can see, we're done with it. Once you're done, you need to export this using the same file dimension with the file in the onset. So you save as you need and return this width and height to set, then you save. So once that is done, you can go to your YouTube studio and edit your channel banner. So when you, when you select it, this will be your channel banner and this area will be the visible area across your desktop and your mobile devices. So I hope you find this video useful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.